Hi, Susan here. Let's do the unboxing of my new Juki DDL 8700 lock stitch straight stitch machine. That's what's next. Before I get started, I want to say if you're new to my channel, my name is Susan Elias. I'm a fashion designer and instructor for over 30 years. I have an extensive YouTube channel talking about everything fashion design. And guess what, guys? YouTube has now offered to have on my YouTube channel a subscription-based platform where you get to support my channel and get more from me in a better way. So I'm ex all excited about it, about that, and I want you to come on board with me and check it out. All you have to do is go on my channel, Susan Elias Couture. Underneath the banner will be a join button. Click on that join button. There'll be a brief video explaining my premium level of my YouTube channel subscription-based platform and the first level will be channel support where you get to just support my channel so I can continue to give you great content and pay for supplies week after week after week. The second level is my premium level where you're going to have a live video with me once a month just the people who join the group that I have, you and me, where I'm answering questions, where I'm doing demonstrations, and I'm showing you, just for you, special things that are not going to be on my regular YouTube channel. So I hope that you will join, and I'll see you on the other side. Let's get started. Okay, so I have the Juki DDL8700. I have it on a specially smaller table with caster wheels, so I can bring this baby anywhere and okay let me show you the details now first i want to say that um, there was a delay getting the machine because of the pandemic everybody was getting machines for the obvious reason of making masks and other things that uh, they needed to do here in the united states so i was really having trouble getting one and i went back and forth about getting it online with a company or using a local place i decided to use a local place because i wanted to have the mechanic pretty much at my disposal if there's any problems with the machine itself. It's a little bit more of a costly way to go, but I decided to do it that way. And because of that, I had a special custom-made table that is smaller than most, and I had other little things to this um, machine that I'm going to show you now. So let's go. All right, one of the first things I got that was a plus was having caster wheels on this machine. As you can see, all four wheels are caster wheels, and it also has a lock to hold it in place once you get it to where you want it. I want to be able to move it wherever I need to, and this was a real plus. Okay, I'm going to go from the bottom up. So this is the foot pedal. This foot pedal is what runs the machine. Once you press on this and the machine is on, you're going to hear the machine if you start sewing. Here we have the knee pedal. This knee pedal, in between, when you're sewing and you need to lift this foot, as you push the knee pedal out, the foot raises and lowers. So it's a fast and easy way to be able to sew professionally. Here is the servo motor. And as you can see, it has an actual speed dial on it. And it is super quiet. The machine is off now. The machine is on now. You don't hear anything until you sew. This is a heavy duty machine, guys and it is hard to lift but you need to get the oil for this machine you must push it back like this so you get the oil reservoir there is two lines and you want to kind of go in between the first line and the second line as far as the amount of oil that you need for this machine they will give you the oil for it. You want it to be very clear and clean. And, and that is what you need to put in this machine always. Let's put this down. I had the table custom made 
so it's a little smaller. The table width is the same though. The table width is about 20 inches. Normally the table is about 47 to 49 inches. This is 36 inches. That way I'm able to move this and bring this machine almost anywhere. Here is the back tack lever. When you push this down, you're able to get the machine to do a reverse stitch for you to back tack. It will be the stitch length anywhere from one to five. Here is the bobbin winding mechanism and here is the bobbin and I'm going to show you how to wind it now. First you put your thread on the spindle thread holder. Then you take your thread and you go from the back where this hole is to the front. Now you carry the thread down and there's a hole. You put it from back to front through that hole and around the top part of this disc in between the two, di two discs. Now you take your bobbin and you put it on the little bobbin holder, this little skinny thing right here. And you want to make sure it's pretty tight. If not, you have to adjust that. You have to have the bobbin case out and you have to have the foot up before you start threading the new bobbin. Wrap, wrap on top a few times push this through and start the machine and press the pedal. Once it rolls a few times, you can cut off the excess and there you are. The machine will automatically stop once the bobbin is filled to the capacity. Cut the thread, take the bobbin out, and you can leave this part threaded. It's always good to have the thread for the bobbin separate in the bobbin area for re-threading a bobbin. And put a new spool of thread for the main part of the machine here. And then again, there's a hole, there, a hole right here. And you want to go from back to front and down. And there's this piece right here on top of the machine. Some of them have it, some of them don't. And there's a hole. You want to go from back to front on that hole. And then in between the two discs, like that. Here's another thread guide. And you want to go right to left. Wrap it around and do it again. So it wraps around like that. Okay, here's another thread guide right here. You want to go in there. Then you want to go th through the two main discs like this. Hold your, head, your thread taut. Pull one complete time till it catches. And you can see now that it's catching here on the spring underneath this lever and then through the take up lever here from right to left. Now you have another thread guide right here and then you have another one on this side of the machine here and then you have one, I'm going to lower the needle now, I'm going to lower the foot now, lift the needle and there's one more thread guide here from front to back. Now I'm going to thread the needle from left to right. Lifting the foot, carrying it back. Bobbin in the bobbin case. It has to go clockwise and my trick is to take the bobbin and put the thread 
towards the inside of the palm of your hand like this and then you will know at that point to push it into the bobbin case. Once you have it in the bobbin case, there's a little slit. You want to go into that slit like that. And then you want to go around this little mechanism like this. And there is your bobbin. There should be tension. It should resist you. Now to replace the bobbin into the bobbin mechanism, you want to lift this lever like this, because when you lift the lever, nothing is going to come out. Then you put it inside of the machine, underneath, you want to hear it click. Once it clicks, you want to raise your foot, turn the wheel towards you to lift the bottom thread. There's the two threads. Close the plate. All right, guys, let's see if this is going to sew. I lifted the foot with my, with my knee pedal so that it's up. I'm going to put it down, holding my back threads. Let me get a smaller stitch here, guys. Back stitch it. I'm going through two layers of muslin, now two layers of swimwear. With the muslin underneath, and it's sewing beautifully. The stitch is good here, as well as the back. Also have this little fun little thread cutter, just like that. The machine basically comes with these two screwdrivers. The really small one is to release the needle screw to change your needle. And the larger one is to release the foot to change the feet. It only came with like a couple of needles in a pack like this. I got much more, many different sizes with this machine as an addition. Here, these are just a few of the different feet that I have with this machine as well. I will have separate tutorials on each one of these, so I won't go into it now. One of the most important features of an industrial machine is the high strong feed dog, which is this piece right on top of the plate underneath the foot. There you have it, the Juki DDL8700 lock stitch straight stitch machine, industrial machine. And I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends so they can learn about this machine and how to thread it properly. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.